The biggest problem with this series, in my opinion, is the power scaling, which is an essential part of any action series. Power scaling allows characters to gauge their strength, while also showing the strength of the threat they're fighting. It's why we saw Bioka take out Ichigo after his fight with Renji. It sent the message that for as strong as Ichigo is, he still had a long way to go before he was ready to fight him. The issue is that Ruby isn't consistent with their power scaling. Sometimes characters have trouble fighting one person. Other times, just one of them can take down a whole army of Grimm. The biggest example I always bring up is the finale of Volume 2, when Coco mows down multiple Grimm on her own. I would be fine with this if it was Crow or Glenda doing this, but this was Coco, who's only a year ahead of Ruby and her friends. It's really hard to be concerned over these monsters that the series has built up as only wanting to take out every living person, when someone who's a sophomore in high school can mow down so many of them simultaneously. There is someone who argued because Coco has a chain gun, that's why, but even the series doesn't stick to that reasoning considering Nora has a grenade launcher, which we saw her using during her fight with the Death Stalker in Volume 1. Don't you think that would be enough to blow one up if a chain gun could take so many of them out in one go? Or shouldn't every soldier in the Atlas Army have one, considering how easy it is to take out Grimm and how easy it is for a second year student to get their hands on?